find the general solution of the following equation phi cos squared x minus uh, phi sine squared sorry phi cos squared x minus cos 2x is equal to sine squared x plus 3 first let us do use the graphic calculator and get the particular solution between 0 to 360 okay so now this is my calculator i've already so let me first i've already done that so let me show this again so what i'm going to do is i'm going to type this so let me write this again so on a calculator i'm going to type this equation on the left hand side on y1 which is phi on the calculator, you have to type in like this. This is phi cos x squared minus cos 2x. This is on your y1 in your calculator. And y2, I'm going to type in sine x, the whole squared. The calculator doesn't understand this. You have to type in like this. So basically, when you want to understand this graphically, if you have two equations are equal, we are interested in the point of intersection. So let me type in, in y1, that's why I wrote it here so that I can see the equation. I'll type in phi bracket cos x squared minus cos bracket 2x. So I'm finding the particular solution between 0 to 360, and then I'll check my answer. In the y2, I'm going to type in sine x squared plus 3. Now to set my scale to a trig scale between 0 to 360 and I've gone from say minus phi to plus phi just so this is your graph so I think you don't need the negative so let me change the scale so I'll let me change from 0 to 6 okay and see what happens so these are two this is your first graph this is a y1 this graph is phi cos squared x minus cos 2x. And this top graph is the sine squared x plus 3. So we are interested in these four points, where they, these at these points, the graphs are become, the values of x are becoming equal. So G sol and intersection. So the first answer is 30, 30, 50, 150, uh, 210, and 330. So we know four answers. Let us write the answers and then we'll check this. We're going backwards. So 30, 150, 210, and 330. So let us write the answer. So this is a good way of doing it. So the answers where the answers that we have are 30, 30 degree, 150 degree, 210 degree, and 330. Now this is called the particular solution. We want the general solution, okay? But this is just to confirm our answer. Okay, so let me delete this. Okay, so how will we do this? So here, yeah, when I am, I want a general solution, I have to write, write this in terms of sine. So for sine, if I want the general solution, I can, I need neither, either how to write this in terms of sine or cosine. Okay, not in 10. Of course, uh, easy way is to change this into either sine or cos. I can see I like to work with cos, so I'm going to change the whole thing into cos. So here I can see cos 2x, and that is the double angle formula, so I'll be using this formula because this will change to cos from cos 2x, I can change to cos x. And sine squared x, I hope you should be knowing as calculus student, sine squared x in terms of cos squared is 1 minus cos squared x. Okay, so let's use these two formulas. So I can write the left-hand side is phi cos squared x. I'm not changing that because I want in cos squared form. Minus, this will be minus 2 cos squared x will be minus 1, so it will become plus 1. You have to be careful here because you got it. Your, this is a minus out, so this mistake should not happen. So minus 2 cos squared x plus 1 is equal to 1 plus 1 minus cos squared x plus 3. So you've got a 1 year and you've got a 1 year. 
so they can be cancelled directly. So you got this simplifies to four three cos squared x my is equal to minus cos squared x plus three. If we add cos squared x to both sides, I can write 4 cos squared x is equal to 3. Okay, so now dividing both sides by 4, I can say cos squared x is equal to 3 quarters. Now I'm interested in cos x, so I have to take the square root. So cos x is equal to plus or minus square root of 3 over square root of 4, which is 2. Okay, so here I've taken square root of both sides. So square root of 3 is square root of 3 and square root of 4 is 2. So now this will branch out in two equations. So this is cos x is equal to root 3 over 2 or cos x is equal to minus root 3 over 2. So let us, uh, you can do, uh, I, let me draw a cos curve, okay. Okay, so if you draw a cos graph, so this is the basic cos graph, because I like students to understand the maths, you can use the you use a graphic calculator to get the answer, but that doesn't give you the real understanding. So this is your cos graph. So cos x, so your cos graph starts at maximum, so this is your 1, and this is your negative 1. So this is 90, 180, 270, 360. So this is 360. Uh, so this is, so this is starting at maximum baseline, minimum baseline, and maximum. The cost graph is like this. Okay, so root 3 over 2, just to explain, root 3 over 2 is about 0.86, so 0.86 will come somewhere, yeah, I'll show this in a different way in a graphic calculator. So this, this is, if you know root 3 over 2 is a well-known number, that is 30 degree, okay, so this is 30, would be, uh, this is one value, so this is 30, and the other value Okay, so minus root, okay, this is plus root 8 over 6, so minus 8 over 6 minus 0 0.86 minus 0 0.86 will come here. Yeah. So where will that go? So this will be symmetrical, so this will be, okay, so this will be this value nearest will be 30 away from here. Okay, so this is 150 degree. Okay, so yeah, the first value will be 150 degree. Yeah. Okay, so let us, let me show you that on a calculator. So, uh, delete. So, you can do this on a calculator. So, if you type in cos of x, and I want to change the scale, trig scale, say minus 2 to plus 2. So this is a cost graph, so G sol, and you want to find X calc, and your value, Y value is shift root 3 divided by 2. So that is, oh, this is in radians, so I had to change this into degrees. This is in degrees. Uh, What am I doing? Shift. Yeah, this is right. Okay, so G sol draw. Shift G sol. And you want to find uh, your X. Okay, so shift root 3 divided by 2 is 30. Okay, that's what, yeah, I was looking at this number. Okay, yeah, so at X is 30. Okay, and yeah, if you do minus g sol and x calc, if you type in minus shift root 3 divided by 2, is 150 degree. Okay. So, yeah, 
I can write. So yeah, uh, let me use a different, yeah, brown. So this is cos of x. Cos x is equal to cos 30 degree. Cos x is cos 30. So let us use the general formula. The general formula is this, if you want to write in degrees, I can write theta is equal to 360n plus or minus alpha. Okay, so here <clears throat> I can write x is equal to, <clears throat> excuse me, 360n plus or minus 30. Okay, where n belongs to i, when n is an integer. I'll explain that. So here we know this can be written this expression can be written as cos x is cos 150, cos 150 degree. So I hope you understand this is 30 away from zeros using symmetry. Uh, let me come back. So this is 30 away from zero. So the other value will be 30 away, uh, oh sorry, from here, yeah, 30 away from 180, this is 180 degree. So 30 away from 180 using symmetry, you will have 150. Okay, so here using the same formula, I can write x is equal to 360n plus or minus 150. So let's confirm our answer, the n belongs to i. So we'll let us check our answer. So here, there are two answers here. So here, x is equal to 360 plus 30. Now, if you put n is equal to 0, if you put n is equal to 0 here, can you see x would be 30? When you put n is equal to 0, you get 30. If you put 1, that will be beyond 360. So we are taking only 1, n is 0 here. So the other option is 360 minus 30, 360n minus 30. And if you put n is equal to 1 here, so 360 minus 30, which is x is equal to 330. That's what we got. So let me let us cross out the answers that we got. So we got 30, we got 330. Okay, what happens here? Okay, so let me scroll up. So here you got two answers here. From here you can write two answers. X is equal to 360 n plus 150. Plus 150. So if you put n is equal to negative 1. So let us take n is negative 1. So this will be 360 minus 360 plus 150. Uh, so that will not work. Okay, so if you put 0 there, what will happen? Yes, if you put 0 and, oops, that was too big. So if you put 0 there, let us put 0 in place of n you will get what? If you put n is equal to 0, because we are checking only between 0 to 360. If n is 0, this will become 0, so x will be 150. That's the third answer. And what happens if x, the third, fourth, fourth answer is 360n minus 150. And here if you put n is equal to, say, 1, if you put n is equal to 1, this will become 360 minus 150, which is x is 210, 210, and that's what we got, the four answers, 150 and 210. So this is how you can get a general solution and also check it graphically, and also you can graph this and check your answer by taking any particular solution between any two, generally between 0 to 360, you will find all the multiple solutions.